In this topic, we're going to learn about the Esfarhana history, releases, and the naming convention. The topics we'll be covering they are Esfarhana history, Hana product history, releases, and the naming convention. So let us start with Esfarhana history. So here we're talking about the whole history starting with when SAP started their first product and up to the latest product which is as for HANA. So in 1972 SAP started with R1 system and it was the first SAP version and it was a one tier system. It was a very basic system in those days and any database we can use for this system. Then in 1979 SAP launched R2 which was a two, two tier system and it was a very slow well, was better than R1 but still uh, very slow um, it, it was also known as the mainframe system at that time and any database could be used for R2 system and it was not a good interface if you want to interface it with the external system then in 1992 SAP launched their R3 version which was a three tier system. It was, and then they uh, launched the GUI interface as well. And it was a good speed. And they also launched the interface uh, known as IDOC and ALE. And any database can be used for this system. And, it, and they also launched the industry specific solutions at that time. Then in 2004, SAP released their next version, which is known as SAP ECC, which was again a three tier system. And then they also launched the, the add-on modules like CRM, SRM, and APU. Oops Abeb was also developed with this system and web-based interface was, was launched as well. Then after this one, in 2011, uh, SAP launched HANA HANA is a database only, not as for HANA, HANA is a database. So which was a database only. It was an in-memory platform. It was a high speed performance system. And then in 2015, finally SAP launched their latest product, which is S4 HANA. And with this system, everything was rewritten. So the ABAP recoded. So all the ABAP coding was rewritten. Um, data model simplified, HANA database uh, can be used only for this system, we can't use any other database, only HANA database we can use and Fury apps were launched that we have seen in the uh, first video and also we'll see in the next videos, uh, all the Fury apps and data foot footprint reduction that we've seen in the previous video and MRP Live was launched and a lot of other stuff including the OLTP plus OLAP system together into the one system and on the fly system can do the calculation because of the fast uh, um, uh, system ac access to the database which is in the memory now we'll talk about the hana product history so within only specific when talk about hana so in 2011 they launched with hana which was in memory platform as a database and with the high performance. In 2012, SAP launched their next product which was known as SAP BW powered by HANA, which was a high performance system, real-time reporting and real-time analysis was provided. In 2013, they launched SAP Business Suite powered by HANA that, that was running on the uh, ECC6, EHP7 or 8 version at least, and that provided the real-time business where we had the OLAP uh, online analytic, analytical processing and online, online transaction process processing together within one system. And they also launched some Fury apps, but very limited Fury apps. Then in 2014, SAP Simple Finance on HANA was launched, where they launched the SAP Simple Finance module. So basically they only launched the finance, finance module known as a Simple Finance where ABAP coding was changed totally, uh, new tables were launched, old traditional table uh, were made obsolete 
and no change for the other modules like MM and SD and all that. But in 2015, they launched their final product, which is the latest product S4 HANA, where Simple Finance version was upgraded, then the next version was launched, Simple Logistic was launched, new user experience using the Fury apps was launched. So that's the journey within HANA only. Now we'll discuss about the S4 HANA releases and the naming conventions. Now there are two types of releases because of two types of deployments. So one is the on-premise deployment that like we have seen in the previous video and the next one is the cloud. So we'll discuss both of them. So with on-premise release, SAP launched the first product uh, as SAP S4 HANA 1511. So when I say 1511, that means 15 is, is the year, 11 is the month. So that means it's November 2015. That, that one it was launched. So whenever they launch it, the month and the year, they take into consideration and they will give it a, uh, a release number. So 1511 is November 2015. Same thing, the next release was 1610. So 16 is 2016 and 10 means October month. So it, it is known as 1610 version. Then we had 17.9, 17.09, which is September 2017. Then we had S4HANA 18.09, which is September 2018. And the would-be release will be 19.09, which is expected in 19.09, which is will be which will be in September 2019. So this uh, course we are studying is basically uh, created on 18.09, but as soon as the new releases will be uh, there our course will be upgraded accordingly. And the uh, other next, after 1909, the next one expected release is uh, two, 2009, which is, will be September 2020. So that's the on-premise releases. So the point to be noted was, every year there was one release for the on-premise. Now with cloud release, it's a bit different. With cloud, they first launched uh, the cloud version, SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1603, which is which means that March 2016. So 16 is 2000, 2016 and 03 is the month, which is March. And then the next version was 1605, which is May 2016. Then we had 1608, which is August 2016 and 1611, which is November 2016. The point to be noted here is, so within one year, they launched three different four different versions or four different upgrades uh, with every upgrade they provided new features and also they basically did the bug fixing and then after two, 2016 seven, in 2017 they launched the next one is 1702 and then 1705 1708 and 1711 which is november 2017. then 2018 they launched 1802 which is february 2018 then 1805 1808 which is August and 1811 which is November 2018 so that's the up uh, as of now that's the latest release now again uh, I would like to mention that this course is uh, all about learning about the on-premise system and um, there's another one uh, sorry I missed that so which is 1902 which is the February 2019 that was a that is the latest release while creating this video so we can expect the next one probably in May 2019. That's all about this and thank you very much to watch this.